as always, the Romans were ahead of their time. And uh, they used to have coins they used to um, manufacture for brothels, especially, specifically, that were made out of genuine silver. And, um, you know, I always, people manufacture these coins, and they always have a gimmick, and they put a picture of a panda on it, or they put a picture of a moose, or they put a picture of a cougar, or some other thing on there. You know, I think these Roman coins, they probably command a pretty big price, because, um, they're uh, the brothel coins, you know, the sex acts and everything. Uh, if somebody was a manufacturer today of coins, I tell you, you know, what I would be doing if I was a uh, if I had a mint and I was be able to stamp out silver coins, I would be stamping these coins out like this, copies of this stuff, and selling them at a premium. Not it doesn't have to be a very high premium, but I bet you they would sell. Especially if they were the correct amount of silver, nine 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 or four nines, preferably. Um, but you know what goes on uh, in the religious world. Uh, forget about it, you know. But I always consider this uh, as part of the uh, healing apparatus and everything like that. It's not uh, wrong, you know. In some people's mind, it is. But I would think that these coins would sell greatly. Now, there's something on Amazon. And um, actually, this is a highly respected person, you know, it's not, you know, I don't like cheap stuff, you know, I don't like that at all, but uh, Gypsy Rose Lee, um, you know, high class, burlesque coin box, in other words, it's a coin box, and uh, quite surprised that, um, you know, a lot of people don't pick up on some of these ideas, because this is what sells, Gypsy Rose Lee, Gypsy Rose Lee, if there was a coin commemorating her in silver it probably would sell for a few dollars more than some uh, coin with an Indian head on it well the Indian heads are okay but I think most people if they want to spend, spend a dollar more for genuine silver this coin if you had a coin with Gypsy Rose Lee on it to take a modern version of the Roman coins like this it would probably sell tremendously um, you know I'm not in the business of producing coins so you know I would do this if I was I definitely would and um, quite surprised nobody has but most people like to stay inside a little box and just you know think one way they're afraid to go break out of the norm they're afraid of uh, trying different things and things like that but uh, I think that this particular coin would sell say if you had a modern version of the Roman coins uh, where they're predicting, you know, women on them doing things in the brothels, and you just put something like this, Gypsy Rose Lee, on a coin, a silver coin commemorating Gypsy Rose Lee. It probably would sell at a f pretty good premium. And, um, you know, I, I just, I know it would. I know it would. I might, there might be some disagreement out there that it wouldn't, but I think it would, to tell you the truth. Um, but uh, most of our mints are run by very conservative governments, and the other parts of the mints that are private are pretty much, um, they have one set way of thinking. They're thinking of uh, George Washington, freedom, and all this type of stuff. But, uh, you know, some of these coins from the Roman times, they had the, the right to pictures of uh, things that go on in life. And uh, it's probably a smart idea. Why not produce a coin? That's like the uh, old Roman coins, except updated, possibly with Gypsy Rose Lee on it. And it could be the nine, preferably four nine silver. Now, I could never imagine a Canadian mint coming out with Gypsy Rose Lee on their coin, but especially because he's an American. But, uh, you know, if I was in charge of the U.S. mint, this would be the coin. I'd be putting this coin out. And it has to have... Um, some type of respectability to it and I think she'd be the perfect candidate for this you know so uh, you know it's just an idea but if I was somebody pushing silver and I had a mint and I was I uh, wanted people to buy coins I'd be doing this type of stuff but I don't but I figured I'd throw my idea out there because somebody's probably gonna grab this idea and run with it someday maybe not but I know I would be I would be uh, it's you know it sounds a little crazy right but you know if you had the reality behind a mint if you actually had on the mint I would be doing this I would test it as a pilot program and I think it would work out extremely well